up everybody, OT for Tech here and I'm here with another unboxing and installation. This time we'll be looking at the Mime Feather Glass Screen Protector for the iPhone 5S. This is a tempered glass screen shield that measures 0.15 millimeters thick, which means it's a very light, very thin screen shield, the thinnest that I know to date. It has an oleophobic coating and it has perfect optical clarity. And it still retains the 9H surface hardness, which makes it, you know, your normal protection for a tempered glass screen shield. It, it provides excellent protection still with the thinness and without the bulkiness. Inside the box, you'll find the installation guide along with a rundown of the features. I just read off a couple of them. You'll also find a dust removal tool with a microfiber towel included. The dust removal tool is larger than the screen on the phone, so it works out perfect, and we'll get into that later. You also get a backup screen protector. If you mess up the installation or this product damages, you can submit it for a, uh, a, a discounted replacement. And in the meantime, you wait for that replacement to arrive, you have a screen shield. You have back protection for the phone, which is just basically a screen protector for the back of the phone. And then you have the star of the show, the feather glass, tempered glass screen shield by Mime USA. And my first impressions on this product is I cannot believe how ridiculously thin and light this tempered glass screen shield is. I have used the Flex series by iLoom, but it is only 8H, so it gives a lot more. It's closer to your typical screen shield that you would get. This is more like your tempered glass. As you can see, it still has that same hardness, but it is actually, I think it's a little bit thinner than the iLoom. This is it compared to a Bodyguards Pure, as you can see. The Bodyguard's Pure being 0.4 millimeters, this is only 0.15. Look at that size difference, folks. Okay, we're gonna jump straight into the installation now. Prior to the installation, you wanna make sure your, just the screen on your phone is clean and free of debris, dust, lint, fingerprints, anything that could get in the way of this install. After you get most of it off with the microfiber towel, you can use the dust removal tool. Now, this is the microfiber towel that I told you about before. Most products, this is not just their product, I, I just I don't like them because of the way they feel. They feel very grainy and you can just tell they're gonna leave a little bit of lint on there. When you're using the dust removal tool, you're gonna remove the back like you would a screen protector and then it exposes an adhesive side. Place the adhesive side onto the screen of the phone and just push it down like you would installing a screen protector. You can work out the bubbles with your fingers, you can use a credit card, whatever you wanna do. Once it's on there nice and good, you're gonna wanna peel it up You can put it back on there a couple times and then you're ready to install the screen protector. This is a self-adhering screen protector, so you do not need to worry about working out bubbles. You might get one or two, but you can work them out with a microfiber towel. You don't need to use a credit card by any means at all. This is, it adheres itself, it works great. Once it's on there, you can remove the protective film that covers the front of the screen protector off and then exposes the screen protector itself. As you can see, the fingerprint sensor on the iPhone 5S is not affected whatsoever. The clarity is beautiful and the touch screen responsiveness works perfect. This is an excellent screen shield. As I was saying before, this is how thin that screen shield is. You can't even see it on the phone. It's ridiculously thin. You can get this from MimeUSA.com for $27.99. It does come with replacements if you mess up for a discounted price. If you like the video, like it, subscribe to my channel, Thanks.